A lot of people are looking for the best software to use to find and run and manage their Amazon business. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, all about Helium 10 and Helium 10 here in Australia. They've just added something new. I'm going to talk you through it. Well, I'm not. Actually, Kathy is one of my AOE coaches. I'm going to talk you through that. Now, if you like this kind of information, we're helping you build your own business on Amazon here in Australia. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and if you've got something you want me to cover for you, comment below and we'll be sure to get that to you. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so good news, Helium's in Australia at the moment. Well, it's just arrived, but it is in beta, so it's not perfect. Um, why is this good news? Well, it's a great way to get BSRs. And why is BSR important? Because it's the only true way to see if a product is selling. Um, as the, all the tools are estimates or guesstimates. So previously, no tools were working in Australia except for Zonguru, mm. and I don't have that. Um, Merchant Words does work in Australia, and I use that for providing me with ideas more so, and it gives us uh, keyword volume uh, searches, reverse ACE and other great info, but it doesn't give us revenue or estimated sales. Um, so because there was no tools in Australia, the only thing I could use was BSR and also I would tap into Watch Count, which is an eBay tool, to get an estimate of their sales. Um, and that can't, that's not always accurate either. So the other great thing is um, X-Ray is um, free. You only get a very limited amount, but tools are expensive. And how many subscriptions can an Amazon seller have? Yeah. I currently have Merchant Words, <laughs> Jungle Scout, and Helium, and I cross-check all those data points. Yeah, so free for a limited number, or you can buy the inexp inexpensive a la carte, and I've got the links for that, so don't panic. Okay, what info does it provide? Was It gives us BSR, it gives us sales, estimate of sales, estimate of revenue, number of reviews, size, brand names. So what I'm going to do is pop on there and sh and sort of give you a demo now. Uh, okay, so I'm on Australia and the it's a Chrome extension, so I just click on the Helium 10 and up it comes. And it's just got so much information, just one, you know, the snapshot all in the one place. So like uh, Merchant Words, here's the search volume on dog colour, 2,935. Here is sort of some snapshots of revenue for page one, average revenue, average price, BSRs, reviews. Now you can expand this out and it gives us more information. Now, it's funny when you play with tools. Thank you to, to one of my product discovery clients. I learned a very quick way to get rid of all the sponsored ads. <laughs> Apply filter. So I get rid of the sponsored ads because I want to see who's on page one organically to get an idea of whether I can compete in this in this space so this position five another great thing is we can um, have a quick look down the brands to see if it's dominated you know if this was underwear for example boxer shorts there might be bonds 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 mm. everywhere so you can really quickly see have a quick scan of prices uh, how many sales the revenue, you can sort by revenue. So who's the best seller or making the most revenue and the BSR. Uh, we've got all the FBA fees, how many active sellers. So that could tell us if this product's being wholesaled or not mm. or whether Amazon's selling it. 
uh, the quick, very quick snapshot of the ratings on how, you know, three, so you might go and hone in on someone, 3.4 is not particularly good. Uh, the review count. Now, obviously, some of these guys are from the US with such big reviews. Mm. BSR stands for Best Seller Rank. Best Seller Rank. Paul. Rank. Yeah. So images, uh, sometimes if they're not very good, though I tell you what, the level of listings has really improved in the last few years, really yeah, improved. It has. Buy box, category, uh, size, large standard, all that sort of stuff, really good information. Oops. And dimensions. So, you know, just, you know, how much information can you get in one snapshot? It's a mm. hell of a lot. It's really good. So Some good money to be made in that niche. <laughs> yeah. Now, what's the difference with the US? So I'm going to put in dog collar and just see how um, competitive the US is compared to Australia. For a start, 3,000 results. I bet there's way more than that. Oh, page three, yeah. So look at the search volume in the States, 504,987. Let's get rid of the sponsored ones. Now, I didn't talk about the sales graph. This is really cool. So we can click on this and find out when these people started selling on Amazon. So these guys started back in 17th of March, 21. And look, they've had a nice little ride, haven't they? Mm. Yep. You can have a look what they've done the last 30 days in the last year. So that's what we want to see. We want to see a, um, we don't want a trend that's going down, such as fidget spinners. Again, look at this revenue. I know it's really exciting and everyone wants to do that sort of stuff, but you do, do need a lot of cash to be able to do that level of selling. You need about three months stock mm -hmm. for that sort of stuff. Maybe more now at the minute. Yeah. So, yeah, with shipping and everything like that. So there is a little rundown of a great tool that can give you a snapshot of search volume, <laughs> revenue, average revenue, price points, BSRs, reviews, and a hell of a lot more info. That so is really. I love this tool. It's so cheap mm. as well. Do you want to share yes. the link for that as well, Kathy? I've got the link. I've got it on the thing, but here it is. You can get that as many goes as you like for seventeen dollars a month. But I forgot to show you my absolute favourite tool out of this, out of, is the profit calculator. So good hint for everyone. We all know shipping's deadly at the moment. So if we want to sell this tactical dog collar military, when it, little, when it gets going, just waiting, here we go. Profitability calculator. We can play with these prices and see if we're going to get a good return on our investment. This is better than the Amazon cap. So we can now I'm changing freight to 450. Mm. It may even be more at the moment. 450 per cubic meter. So here's the price, $15.99. You can say what happens if I change it to $19.99. Here's all the sizes. Uh, there's an estimated cost. You would pop over to Alibaba and check that. And then you've got your FBA fee, which is your pick and pack fee for Amazon to post that out to the client. Your storage fees per unit. So if you've got 500 units in at the U.S., it's two cents per unit. 
if they're in there for 30 days, and then the referral fees around 15%. So if I was selling this for $20 and I paid all my fees and even with the extra shipping, I would still make about $9. That's if that, I would say that might be, let's say, $6 to buy nowadays. Still 34% margin or ROI of 109 that's great. Kathy, Kathy, can I just yeah. ask, with the, the, the up and down so much of the freight costs mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the, the, the fluid, you know what I mean, the fluidity of it, it's constantly changing. How do you, how should you arrive? All the rest is pretty much straightforward. Yeah. How should you arrive at what you put in your estimated freight cost is on each occasion? Uh, well, I'm always trying to keep up to date with everything that's going on, listening to podcasts, listening to other people, you know. So we, you can change this. If you're going to fly your um, freight in instead of ship it, you can do, like in the old days it was $9 a kilo. You could mm. Google what's the, what's the current shipping rates per cubic metre. Go on Freitos. Freitos is uh, that's a calculator. Get that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But on our, like, you know, I listen to Helium 10's podcasts and I'm always on their videos and because a lot of people use their software and that's what they're using currently. And it's like everything, it's you said it's fluid and moving, but it's it's a, an, an estimate's the best that we can get, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you want to be really conservative, do 500. I mean, this is your calculator. Mm -hmm. You can play around with it to, you know, what you think. So if, if it, that's kilo, if it got to 500 per cubic metre, you're still making money. Not the, as much, but you're still making money. <laughs> the other thing that Kath and I spoke about um, a few days ago relative to this particular tool was using it to try different experiments. So, for instance, if you were looking at freight, uh, what happened, what would happen if you – uh, decreased the weight of the product, you could then maybe get into a different um, uh, level for postage, for postage costs, yeah. go into a different thing for you. What would happen if you altered the way it, some of the material in it, would that give you some kind of advantage as, as opposed to freight? But there's lots of different ways of thinking about this in terms of uh, where is the advantage? And this is a really good tool, as Kath says, to kind of play about with different ideas and see, okay, where can I get an advantage? Where is the advantage with this product? It's a, it's a really good tool to do that sort of thing with. Yeah, and, think, you, you just, know, Kathy, do I have to fly? Mm -hmm. Kathy, yes, it's, Ron. Ron, it's Ron here. Uh, yeah, could you how please are show you, us? I'm very good. How are you? <laughs> good, thanks. Could you please show us how you brought up the profitability calculator that's linked to Helium sure. 10? Yeah. I just missed that step, sorry. No problem. So we've got it. So there's a couple of ways. So that's you're launching your, this is the extension. Yep. So you can click on profitability calculator there. Or if I'm already into the um, product, oops, sorry. Get away. Don't you love this? Sorry. If you're already in the listing, if you scroll down, you get these keywords, listing optimizer and profitability calculator there. So you can click on that there. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are the fastest growing e-commerce community here in Australia. We've got over 2,600 members and growing, and we've got sales of over $50 million on Amazon. If you'd like to find out more about what we do, then go to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au, and I will see you on the inside. Bye for now.